Our growth point teaching today takes us to Galatians chapter 3, verse number 14, and it reads as follows. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise. Once again, this verse reminds us of the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross for us. His work on the cross paved the way for forgiveness of sins through the law, and it was transferred to the work of Jesus. Up until this point, forgiveness of sins could only be accepted through what the law said and the requirements of the law. But because of Jesus' work on the cross, He abolished what the law said and He became the new way. He became the, the new hope. So Jesus, His work on the cross, paid for it all. Paid it all for us. We see here that the blessings given to Abraham, and this is a God's promise to Abraham, is defined as the promise of the Spirit. And to receive the Spirit is to have righteousness, it is to have life, it is to have all spiritual blessings. You see, the Holy Spirit is available to all, to each and every one of us, and the Holy Spirit helps us, guides us, corrects us, illuminates the truth of God's Word to our hearts, and in our lives, and to our minds. In short, the Holy Spirit empowers us to be able to walk the Christian walk. It is the Holy Spirit that sets us free and gives us the power that we need to live this Christian life. So because of Jesus' work on the cross, it paved the way for the Spirit's power to be released in our lives to help us walk and live this Christian life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross for each and every one of us. His, his death, His burial, His resurrection. And because of what His work on the cross, our, our debt is paid in full. And the Holy Spirit is able to empower us to walk and live this Christian life in Spirit-empowered and Spirit-led. So we give you thanks and we give you praise. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.